Let's try something weird. to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Today, we're gonna try something crazy. So my good friend over at Richo's Decals, Matt, has asked me to make him a couple of unique goblets. Last year, I sent Matt a resin serving board. He wants a couple of goblets to match that. So, we're gonna to attempt to make some burl resin goblets. Holy shit. Now, I come up with an idea last night. This process is gonna take a while, probably four to five days with the glue setting, the resin setting, all the different bits and pieces. Essentially, what we're gonna do is take four pieces of burl, run them through the thicknesser, and glue them together. We're then gonna put a mold up here, fill it with resin, and that's gonna form the cup part of the goblet. I'm then gonna throw this piece of burl on the lathe, after cutting along these lines that I've already drawn. That's gonna form the stem. We're probably gonna set that in a little bit of resin too, just to harden it up while it's on the lathe and hopefully stop it from breaking apart. Then we're gonna take this piece of jarrah here and make a base. So it's a three piece goblet. We're then gonna try and hold together with five minute epoxy. Fingers crossed it works. I've just made up rather dodgy molds just out of the plastic that I use for the Australia Day project board. Now, because I had mold release all over these, the hot glue would not stick to the plastic. So we've just coated the outside in tape and we're gonna hope for the best. Together. We've got to wait 24 hours for that one to dry before we can build a mold, pour some resin in. We've got the uh, two stems setting right here. Now they've got the resin in them as well, so we're gonna leave them 24 hours to cure before we put them on the lathe. For now, we're gonna throw this on the lathe and see if we can make the base of the goblet. out of this stuff. If only it rained shallow wax. So we've got our base, we've got our stem, and we've got our head of the goblet. 
There's only one of these for the time being. We're gonna see how it goes before we make another one up. Let's get to work. starts coming together. So that five minute epoxy has been left to set. I've actually left it about two hours. It's set beautifully in there. We've got the Jarrah Burl that we turned there for the stem and then the Jarrah for the base. And we've actually done two. The pour we did this morning has been curing for about six hours. Now this is for the head of the goblet. See it there. It's actually quite hard already, but we are gonna leave it the 24 hours to cure fully before we put it on the lathe. All in all, this mold held up amazingly considering it was just a milk carton and some hot glue. It's done its job perfectly. You can see some of the resin started to seep into some of the voids around the wood, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. So we'll leave this for the rest of the night now, come back in the morning, throw it on the lathe and see where it takes us. taken on a bit of a weird shape. That's because we had a ring of air bubbles all around this section here. You can see just there. So I tried to go a bit thinner to get rid of them. They were too deep. Unfortunately, I don't have a pressure pot in the workshop to combat this issue. If anyone wants to donate one to the cause, get in touch. So this is what we're ended up with. I need to mount this on. What I'm thinking about doing is drilling a hole in the bottom of the goblet head so that the stem 
can insert straight in there and we'll have a nice secure hold. Bubbles aside, I must say, this did turn out pretty cool. So the plan didn't work again. It's there, drying. We tried to fill up the holes with some resin, put some tape on the inside, but because of the shallow wax finish, tape didn't stick, the resin leaked out. So the only solution was to get a bit of paper towel, rub the whole goblet down to give it a, a resin finish. So we're just waiting for that to cure over there and then we can get back to it. So I just thought I'd pour the second goblet head off camera, be as smooth as the first one. Boy, was I wrong. This has been an absolute disaster. The definition of the word disaster. Come and check it out. Here's the battlefield. We've got spilt resin everywhere, hot glue everywhere, strings of hot glue hanging everywhere. We've got resin leaking from everywhere. I did tip all of the resin out and try and re-glue the mold. Absolutely did not work. The resin's getting far too hot, started setting, getting all claggy, and I barely got it back in the mold in time. So we're just gonna have to leave it as it is, messy as all hell, and hope that when it dries, we can get this mold off. Let's unpack this mess. What a mission so far. Here we've got the second goblet. I filled up some of the voids with five minute epoxy. I'm gonna throw it back on the lathe now and sand it back down smooth. This one came out pretty cool too. Then we're gonna mount both goblets onto their stems and we are done. This is like, I think day five so far of this project. So I'm looking forward to finishing it. Let's do this. Check it out. Unbelievably, this project is complete. Check him out. We're actually on day seven for this project. So this was the first one, this was the repeat. It took a bit of a different shape, but I actually prefer the second one. Check that out there, we're all sealed up. All three pieces are together. Just need to do a final dust off and then a nice coat of oil on there to make them look the part. I'll show you the first one too. Let's dust these off, give them a nice light coat of oil, and then we can ship them out to Matty. Thanks for tuning in again. Really appreciate all of the views and all the support. It's been amazing. Thanks for checking out the channel today, checking out this project. It's been a crazy one, but we finally got there in the end. The results were pretty cool.
If you haven't checked out our Facebook page, make sure you head on over there. Our tag over there is at JD Creations 18. You can check out all of the things that we've made even before we started off the YouTube channel. So make sure you go over there and swing us a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, that would be amazing. Ring the bell if you want notifications every Friday for our videos. Thanks for the support guys, we'll see you next week.